On behalf of the Javelina Battalion cadre, we would like to welcome you to today's Javelina Battalion commissioning ceremony. Honoring cadets Leslie Mendoza and Matthew Torres as they become second lieutenant to the United States Army. While the current pandemic has forced cancellation of large gatherings of people on our campus and across the country, we are determined that we, it won't let us stop us from celebrating the accomplishments of these two cadets who have put so much work into getting to this day. Commissioning this year will be a little different, a little less formal, but it won't be less important or significant to our cadets, their families, or their friends. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Oh, see. The professor of military science and senior military science instructor, Sergeant First Class Jeremy Bland, would like to extend a special thank you to your family, friends, and special guests for attending today's ceremony. My name is Captain Morales, and I am the assistant professor of military science at Texas A&M International, and I will be your master of ceremonies. Today, we celebrate graduating TAMU students who have chosen to make a commitment to the nation and its service. Cadets Leslie Mendoza and Matthew Torres have conducted rigorous training as part of the Reserve Officer Training Corps, and we recognize their dedication and achievements in, this, in meeting the program's high standards as they will be commissioned in the United States Army as officers today. ROTC training began in South Texas at the former Texas A&I College in 1951. The program extended then to Corpus Christi State University in December of 1978. As the Javelinas Battalion's Charlie Company, the company expanded its basic course instruction to Del Mar College in the spring of 1984. In 1993, the university changed its name to Texas A&M University Kingsville. In August of 2003, Texas A&M International joined as our Bravo Company along with Laredo Community College. Recently, Texas A&M University Corpus Christi grew to become its host installation thus leaving the battalion. Even though our family is continuously changing with many campuses, the mission of ROTC has remained the same. It is to develop the future leaders of our military and this great nation of ours. Now a message from the Secretary of the Army, Honorable Ryan D. McCarthy, the Army Chief of Staff, General James C. McConville, the Trade-Out Commander, General Paul E. Funk, and the Cadet Commander, Major General John Evans. Congratulations on your upcoming graduation and commissioning. This is a huge milestone in your lives and also the beginning of you joining our ranks. Welcome. And we need each of you ready to lead the world's finest and most lethal force. I regret that I'm not able to give you this message in person and that this year commencement and commissioning will be different but celebrating your achievement differently shouldn't diminish what you've accomplished here, nor tarnish the pride you should feel. What I would offer to you is a single touch point you can always return to, no matter where you may find yourself in life. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. With that said, the circumstances that you find yourself in now won't last forever. To build this resilience, train. Train hard and train often. Train your body to operate under duress, 
your mind to remain calm in chaos, and your heart to endure hardship. In a short time, you will have the privilege of leading our nation's men and women, and they will look to you as a steady hand at the helm. Serve them well. I am incredibly proud of you. Congratulations on graduation and commissioning, and I will see you out in the field. Congratulations and thank you for making the decision to join the best team in the world and be part of something bigger than yourself. I want to thank your parents for raising such fine young men and women who have answered the nation's call to service. If you don't remember anything else I say today, I want you to remember two things. People first and winning matters. People first is a philosophy. I believe you take care of your people, your soldiers, your families, and your civilians, and you create a command climate where everyone takes care of each other and treats everyone with dignity and respect, you will have a great cohesive team which will win on any battlefield. And winning matters in the Army is an attitude. When we send the Army somewhere, we don't go to try hard, we don't go to participate, we go to win. That's what the American people expect, and that's what you will do. And that's why winning matters. We are very proud of you. Stay healthy, stay safe, people first, winning matters, and we remain Army strong. My name is Funk, and I'm an American soldier. Commissioned as an armor officer through Montana State University ROTC in 1982, go Bobcats. I'm honored to be the 17th Commanding General of the United States Army's Training and Doctrine Command. And the pursuit of victory starts here. What a great day to be a soldier. These young men and women in the audience today are the latest products of a century-old tradition of service to the nation. Let me join the chorus of voices offering congratulations to you and your loved ones. Addressing such a talented group of future leaders is true privilege. Thank you for taking your place in the long and distinguished line of graduates that have answered the call to serve. Welcome to the profession of arms, the most exclusive fraternity or sorority in the world. I always ask two questions of the soldiers and civilians that I meet. Why did you join and why do you continue to serve? The U.S. Army is the greatest team ever assembled. Teamwork is why I joined the Army. This is America's Army. We all learn and grow together and we are soldiers for life. I continue to serve because of the people. The Army is a people business and the Army is not just about people, it is people. One of the fundamentals I have learned in over 40 years of service is this. High standards, positive outlook, and excellence are contagious. Whatever comes your way, remain calm in the storm and never waver. You're a leader now. Your soldiers are watching. It is your leadership that will help us accomplish our mission in the face of COVID-19 or any future adversary. I have no doubt that you will lead our nation through the challenges of the 21st century. You should feel privileged to wear the cloth of our great nation, the jersey of America's fighting team. Leave that jersey in a better place every day. Good luck to you all in your future endeavors. Godspeed and may God bless these young leaders and our great nation. As I said when I started, my name is Funk, and I'm an American soldier. Thank you. Have a great day. Hello, and let me be among the first to congratulate you on this incredible day. I'm certain that this day is much different than the way you envisioned it, and I apologize that you can't be in a large audience among your friends and additional family members, but it makes it no less important. And I want to make sure that you understand that what you have undertaken what you have achieved is gonna be important for our nation. You are going to swear an oath to the Constitution and the people that stand behind that to do your duty, to protect our nation against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And right now, we face an unseen enemy. That's why we are conducting your commissioning ceremony in this way. But I know that you're up to the task. I know that you will take the training we've given you and that you will perform your duties thoughtfully and faithfully. I have faith and confidence in you, as do all of our senior Army leaders. And on this day, I want to congratulate you for doing what only one out of every thousand people in our country ever does, 
standing up and taking the oath of office to become an officer in the United States military. Congratulations, United States Army, second lieutenant. Thank you, gentlemen. At this time, will Cadet Leslie Mendoza please come forward? Leslie Mendoza was born on February 13, 1996 in Laredo, Texas. She is the daughter of Virginia and Thomas Mendoza and sister to Orlando Quiroz. She attended Nixon High School and Vidal M. Trevino School of Communication and Fine Arts. She then attended Texas A&M International University, majoring in criminal justice with a minor in studio art. In 2018, she enlisted in the Texas Army National Guard, graduated from basic training, and completed AIT. That same year, she enrolled into the ROTC program. Cadet Mendoza attended advanced camp at Fort Knox, Kentucky, followed by the Cadet Troop Leader Training at Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington, in the summer of 2019. As an MS-4, Leslie served as the second platoon leader. Leslie branched ordinance in the United States Army National Guard and will attend the basic officer leader course at Fort Lee, Virginia, and serve with the HSC 449th ASB unit out of San Antonio, Texas. At this time, I will administer the federal oath of office. Ben Mendoza, at this time, please raise your right arm and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Leslie Mendoza. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will take this obligation free. That I will take this obligation free. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That I will well free. And faithfully, that I will freely discharge the duties, discharge the duties of the office, of the office on which I'm about to enter, of which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Second Lieutenant Mendoza will be penned by her mother, Mariana Gonzalez. Staff Sergeant Tyson Pinter will render the first salute. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 2nd Lieutenant Leslie Mendoza. Will Cadet Matthew Torres please come forward? Cadet Torres was born on June 10, 1998 in Harlingen, Texas. He is the son of Ellie Torres. He attended San Benito High School and graduated with honors in June 2016. He then attended Texas A&M International University, double majoring in history and political science, with a minor in military science. Matthew enrolled in the ROTC program in January of 2017 and has been enrolled in the program every semester since. In the summer of 2018, he attended basic camp at Fort Knox, Kentucky. In the summer of 2019, he attended advanced camp at Fort Knox, Kentucky, and also the Air Assault School at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. As a cadet, Matthew has been a three-time Ranger Challenge team member, Color Guard member, two-time Norwegian Foot March badge recipient, and the Army 10-Miler team member. As an MS-4, Matthew served as a company executive officer and the Master of Fitness. Master Matthew will be graduating with a Distinguished Military Graduate and has branched into the quartermaster branch in the United States Army active duty component. He will attend basic officer leader course at Fort Lee, Virginia, along with Airborne School at Fort Benning, Georgia, and his first duty station will be with the 82nd Airborne at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. 
At this time, I will administer the federal oath of office. Colonel Torres, this time please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I say your name. I, Matthew Torres. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. On which I'm about to enter. Of which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. At this time, Second Lieutenant Torres will be pinned by his mother, Ellie Torres. Sergeant First Class Jeremy Bland will render the first salute. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Second Lieutenant Matthew Torres. I would like to take this opportunity to thank these two officers for helping build the ROTC program here at Texas A&M International. Leslie, thanks for all the great new ideas and the time you put into the program while balancing school, the National Guard, and your family. You, will always, you always kept me on my toes by asking detailed questions, and when I give you an answer, you would say, but what if, and continue to build upon your initial question. I know that your drive to know everything will make you a great officer. Matt, thank you for being a mentor and a leader to everyone in the program. I'm sure that most are thankful for the countless hours in the gym. Whenever something needed to get done, I knew I could count on you to get it done. I will always remember when you asked me what my PT store was. I will admit, you have me on push-ups and sit-ups, but you don't on the run. Remember the Army 10-miler? I know your drive to improve everyone around you will improve any unit that you're a part of. Just remember a few things for both of y'all. Always place the mission first and listen not only to your NCOs, but also your family. One of my favorite quotes is from President Adams. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, then you're a leader. With that, just remember I'm only a phone call away. At this time, our brand new second lieutenants would like to say some words. Second Lieutenant Mendoza. Hello, everybody. Um, I would like to thank my family and friends for all their endless support and their words of wisdom. I would also like to thank my instructors um, for all their patience. Uh, it's been a fun journey. And you know, thank you. And I would also like to share a little story on how I decided to join the RTC program. Um, I remember it was my first drill uh, with uh, the National Guard, and they paired me up with a female who was in the RTC program. I was looking for a job, and she eventually told me about it. And her exact words were, "You get paid." to work out with them in the mornings. That, those were her exact words. And I thought, wow, it sounds great. Um, I want to do it. And, you know, I had been working and going to college previously. And, you know, it gets a little bit tough sometimes. And I wanted to focus more on school. Uh, so that same week, I went and I visited uh, Captain Chavez. She gave me all the information I needed. And she told me about camp and everything. And I thought, you know, I can I can do this. And it sounds, sounds interesting, sounds fun. Um, after that, I enrolled in my first, uh, my first class was with the colonel. And he explained to us, uh, you know, the benefits of the program and how, 
you know, the leadership skills we we're going to gain and we we're going to be able to apply to any job we wanted. Um, he also taught numbers, which, you know, convinced me right away. Um, and, you know, that was a story, but my point would be, um, you know, the opportunities are right there. All you have to do is grab them. Um, also, you know, uh, trust God because he works in funny ways. You know, my first day back and he paired me with a girl that was an ROTC. Kind of leads away. So trust the process, uh, be patient. Um, and, you know, for me, it had always been that I tend to jump into things and sometimes they're difficult or this and that, but I never quit. And that's one of the advices I would give to all the other cadets and everybody in any job. Um, you know, trust God, trust the process. Um, don't make excuses uh, for the people that are not there, for the money you don't have, for the opportunities that are, are not there at the moment. You know, instead be grateful and seize the opportunities. Um, and lastly, never quit. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, thank you. Thank you all for coming today. Um, I want to thank my family who's here supporting me, um, who always supported me. I want to thank my fiance um, and her family um, for also giving me the support back home as well. Um, I want to thank all the instructors that have I've been encountered over the past four years from Colonel D, Sergeant Bland, Captain Morales, Major Chavez, congrats on the promotion man, um, Lieutenant Peña, Lieutenant Zagira, if they're out there. Um, they support and um, constant mentoring that y'all given given me. Um, and I want to lastly thank the um, cadets and new lieutenants that I've been encountering with ever since um, I began in the program. Um, Y'all have constantly motivated me and inspired me to do better every day as a leader, both as a leader and as just an individual. And um, I just hope I, I left the program better than what it was when I came in. Um, for the cadets out there, um, it could be done. Just keep on top of your studies, keep on top of your fitness. I'm always going to be on hacking y'all on fitness and I'll constantly be checking up on y'all. Um, if y'all ever need anything, I'm always a call or a click away. Y'all know where to reach me. Um, just because I'm leaving doesn't mean I'm going to leave the program. The program will always forever be in me. So if anybody else, if anybody um, needs to contact me in any way, you know where to reach me. So again, thank you all for coming and uh, God bless. Thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise and join us in the singing of the Army song. Distinguished guests, friends of the program, and families and friends who attended today's ceremony to share this special occasion of these two newly commissioned lieutenants. This concludes today's ceremony. Again, thanks for joining us.